how reliable would an MT82 be on track versus a T56 uh, with a track focused S550? Uh, I mean, it's personal choice. Uh, in my uh, 2012 uh, GT4 RS track car, I mean, it, it didn't take, it only took about a couple of track events and I pulled out the, the transmission that was the factory transmission and put in a T56. Uh, the big reason was how the factory, the S197, how it shifted. Uh, fifth gear was one to one, and fourth gear was the, I forget what it was. But anyway, I, I typically only use third and fourth gear on track. So the, the shift from fourth to fifth, it was, it was kind of always cross gate up, cross gate back, and it was, it was, it was kind of a pain. Never knew what gear I was in. So I, I threw that out, put the T56 in, which are totally indestructible. Not totally, but they're, they're virtually indestructible, and they just shift like shift like a dream. And third and fourth was just back and forth, you know, no problem. Now, um, I think I think on the 550s, uh, I think uh, I think uh, fifth, fourth, I think fourth is uh, I think one to one. So I think that's just a straight back and forth shift, which makes it easy. Uh, as far as the reliability, it depends on a lot of things. Uh, and people talk about changing the oil. Yeah, that's a, always a good thing, but. It's, if your car is in warranty, uh, I would only use uh, whatever oil Ford recommends just in case. And then if, if you beat on it, like anything else, if you beat on it, it's, go, it's gonna break. Uh, if you're good to it, it's, it's gonna last. But I, I would throw the factory shifter away. And if we, we use the uh, the Barton shifters. And uh, if you need a shifter, uh, give us a call and uh, we'll get you fixed up. Cause it's, it's, it's just, it's a solid man. It's just click, 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 click. And it's like a toggle switch. It just, it just feels really good when you shift. So as far as durability, it just depends on how you drive it. Uh, you beat on it, it's it's going to break. You take care of it. Uh, and, and don't be like, you know, dry grace or just hammering gears back and forth. Because you really don't need to do that in uh, in, in track driving. And you don't, don't need to really beat on your transmission. But I mean, if you want something that's going to be super durable and last forever, I mean, T56, uh, they got like a 600-pound torque rating, something like that. And... Like I say, they they, they shift yeah. really well. One so. S197 and the uh, and 550, uh, the the optional choice obviously would be the the uh, uh, Tremec uh, Magnum XL. I mean that's the one the one that we use. Uh, there's a whole bunch the whole bunch of six speed uh, Tremec transmissions, but the Magnum is the best, and that's the one we always use. Now going back to uh, earlier cars. Uh, for the SN, SN95, for like the Cobras on track, we use the, the T56. Uh, it's uh, Magnum wasn't available back then, so it's uh, I forget what the number was. But it's the one what you always want to do, if you do the six-speed from Tremec, you always want to get the one that has a 0.8 fifth gear because that's a closer ratio, and, and I think it's like a 297 first gear. Uh, the, I think the 550s have lost something like a 415 first gear. It's like, you know, why? Uh, but uh, it, it's like you, you want that 0.8 fifth gear because you got a 0.8, uh, one, one to one fourth. And I can't remember, third is uh, 134, 127, something like that. So, but you go back to the, like the Windsor cars, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the old Windsors, the uh, Fox uh, and 9495, uh, SN95s. Uh, I think the best choice for that is Tremec just, came, not just, but recently came out with a new updated version of the, the, uh, TKO 600, I think it's the TKX, maybe something like that. And it's actually got the shift mechanism of the T56, so it shifts like a dream. It's lighter than the uh, than the T56 by quite a bit. It's more compact, uh, so it fits in in the tunnel a lot better. And uh, you can get it with a 0.8 fifth gear. And uh, you know, and, and the T56 point, the sixth gear is like d double overdrive, like 0.6 or 0.7, depending on which one you get. But in the uh, the, the, T, the TX, uh, it's like point point eight, and you got a one to one fourth. Uh, it's lighter, more compact. That's a great choice if you got a Windsor.